So here we are, we have a new bottle of Bovie Glow. One of the things you want to do immediately is to agitate the product a little bit. Because it's a completely natural product, there are no emulsifiers. There are two densities inside the components inside this bottle. So shaking it a little bit, and now you're ready to use one of several methods to administer a required amount that uh, you've calculated out based on the size of your cattle and the numbers of cattle, and then we'll calculate it for a daily use. So in bigger quantities, you can use a measuring jar. Uh, this is a small one. We buy these at home hardware. It uh, gives you anywhere from um, a few mils all the way up to 375 mils. For smaller dosages, we have uh, developed a cap that has replaces the existing cap. So you take the cap off, add this cap, put it on tight, and it has a little plug that fits inside a hole. Once again, you can shake this. You don't have to continually shake the bottle, but it's shaken. And then two sizes of syringes here in front of us today. This is from zero to 10 milliliters, or of course for bigger quantities, now we're in a 60 mil syringe. So here we're gonna open the, uh, the little safety cap. I'm gonna pull the syringe back a wee little bit. And then by administering, I want three mils is usually the required amount for a brand new baby calf or as high as five mils, depending on uh, any issues that you're trying to overcome. Pull your syringe out, put your little uh, safety cap back in place, and you're all set. Go. Another bottle that we've uh, used for measuring is the uh, double capped squeeze bottle. And once again, you can either buy these full or you can uh, fill them with a, uh, from a larger container that you've already purchased. And so these work very simply. You loosen this a little bit. By squeezing the bottle, the uh, solution once again rises into the, uh, the uh, bulb at the top. And there are graduations either in milliliters or ounces, depending on which side that you're going to use. And of course, then you uh, take the cap off and you'll pour it into your solution for pre-mixing. In some applications where you're adding a little bit of bovig glow to a dry feed or um, possibly a small quantity of TMR, you're trying to top dress and you've got a pellet or a product that you don't want to get too much moisture in, you'll pour some bovig glow into a squeeze bottle, these are pretty simple, and you'll squirt the bovig glow on top of an existing feed. Works real well if you're top dressing a little bit in uh, veal calves or some young calves where they're on an existing pellet. So we also have the five gallon pail available. Um, to slightly cheaper per milliliter than in the uh, two smaller containers, the gallon and the, and the quart. First of all, you want to take the product and it uh, obviously has a little bit more weight to it. It needs to be agitated just like everything else. It's as simple as rocking the pail back and forth a little bit and you've got your product agitated. So we would flip the, flip the, the, uh, the pail open as an easy to pour spout. This would be open, take the safety seal off. Most cases when the product's bought in the larger quantities we're obviously using larger volumes on a daily basis. So the product would be poured uh, into a pail that probably has a measurement of liters or quart measurements and then we recommend a three to one ratio and once again then it's either added to a larger TMR or used in a sprinkling can application. In some of our large feedlots in western Canada they actually mix five gallons at a time with 15 gallons of water and then it goes through a pumping system that's metered and the operator knows that for every so many uh, tons of feed there's so many liters of a uh, three to one mix that goes into that ration.